Welcome. This is Minute with the Mayor. I'm Arlene Bornstein here with our mayor, Dean Trantalis. Thanks Hi. for being here. Hi. We're here at the beautiful Parker. Yes, once again, beautiful place, beautiful <laughs> opportunity to once again showcase one of the best venues we have here in Fort Lauderdale. Absolutely. Um, you know what? We won an award and we want to brag about it. Uh, it's for the water treatment plant, the P3 award of the year. Yes, uh, a national organization recognized Fort Lauderdale in that water treatment plant that we we are now uh, uh, going to soon have the groundbreaking. I believe it's going to be in, uh, in uh, January and it's uh, exciting. It's an exciting milestone for this community because for many, many years we've talked about it. We we uh, listened to many of the consultants and, and many of the propos proposals that came forward. And we're very excited that the commission made a decision and we're going to move forward. And this is important because a lot of things. Number one, the current treatment plan could not withstand a severe storm, a Category 4 or Category 5 hurricane. And as we see, climate change is, is, is intensifying all of these storms and the frequency of them as well. And God forbid we should ever be without water. Yeah. This is an important milestone for the city to take that step forward and to ensure its residents that they will always be drinking water should a storm uh, ever, ever, God forbid, come to our community. And the city really excels on this one because it is the P3 Project of the Year Award by P3 Bulletin. So it's right. very, very So cool. they recognize how important it was to certainly move this project forward as a public-private partnership, which is what P3 means. And uh, and to know that we got a, a solid proposal, uh, under hopefully will be under budget and uh, certainly ahead right. of schedule. So we're really excited about this, and uh, we'll hope uh, you know this will be one of many many uh, public works projects that we're going to be able to present to the community. Absolutely. And speaking of infrastructure and resiliency, uh, this week the commission was presented a big plan called Fortify Lauderdale, which is a big commitment. Neighborhoods. So Fortify Lauderdale um, is an accelerated program for the stormwater program that we already have undergoing. Uh, right now we have approximately eight neighborhoods that are either under construction or in design uh, or um, are being are being priced out. And uh, and but what Fortify Lauderdale is about is adding 17 more of these neighborhoods. 17 that probably would have taken another 20 years to complete. We're now going to reduce that by half so that all of these, the first eight plus the 17, mm -hmm. will all be addressed within the next 10 years. And, uh, and this is such an important thing because as we can see how flooding takes place in our communities, not just from storms, not just from uh, uh, high tides, but through a combination sometimes. And uh, it truly impacts our, our, our property, our, our, even, our, even our lives, you know, to, to have to suffer through these, uh, these situations. So we're going to um, uh, create infrastructure in neighborhoods to be able to drain the streets and be able to drain the neighborhoods from the uh, overflow of water that comes into our communities and uh, once again be a resilient community, for, uh, for, for the, especially for the new population that's coming to Fort Lauderdale. Absolutely. Resiliency is key. Um, moving on to another uh, item impacting our community, you're chairing the first North American Mayor's Summit Against Anti-Semitism that's coming up next week. This is the first time the uh, Combat, Amer uh, Combat Anti-Semitism Movement has had uh, an event here in, in uh, the Western Hemisphere. Oh, wow. uh, last year I attended the first summit in Athens and uh, <clears throat> it was in December, it's not the best time to go to Athens, but, <laughs> uh, uh, but it was the best time to really meet with people from uh, Europe and around the world to discuss best practices on how to defeat anti-Semitism. And uh, having attended that, uh, that event, I thought it was important to bring it to America. So for the l last several months we have been uh, uh, organizing it and planning it, and it's gonna be a very robust uh, seminar for, it'll, be all day. It's, it's November 16th, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll conclude with a final banquet with the participants and people from the community to uh, to really, as we all know, anti-Semitism has become um, a significant uh, issue here in America. Uh, aside from what's going on in the politics of Middle East, you know, anti-Semitism uh, existed long before October 7th, and certainly. Um, uh, and has continues to exist in our communities, and we need to we need to defeat it. We need to eliminate it. And these are hopefully going to be ways that we're going to move that uh, effort forward by listening to the mayors from around North America who are converging on our city. I think over 50 mayors are coming. Uh, 
and hopefully we'll be able to have some good conversations. Absolutely, and local mayors too, and some mayors be local who have mayors, been part of be themselves. Make, I understand it's gonna be a mayor from Canada, uh, there'll be representatives from Mexico. Uh, it'll definitely be an opportunity for us to really exchange ideas and to learn how we can best treat one another equally and without prejudice. And I love they've chosen Fort Lauderdale for that. Yes. Wonderful. And shifting to some fun, uh, not so serious, but our you know spark to the holidays is the light up events we're having around. So we take great pride in trying to celebrate the holidays and to, and to include everybody. You know, the diversity of Fort Lauderdale is something we pride ourselves on. So we used to have a light up event in one location. Now we decided to have up light up events throughout the city. There will be several. There will be one in the northwest. There will be one downtown and on the beach. And something, an opportunity for everyone near their home to be able to participate in greeting the holiday season. And they're so much fun. You can find out where all these um, events are, the location, the time, all the details by going to fortlauderdale.gov slash light up for a full list of yes. events. Yes, yes. Mayor, thank you. Smooth is butter as usual. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys. Bye everyone.